Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in the thoroughly entertaining Tony and Clyde. Now this was developed and published by DCF Studios, released on 20th of October 2021, but as of this recording has no price, but assume it'll be a nice cheap boy at around 3 or 4 .99. So we play as, well, Tony and Clyde, and this game plays like a story-driven arcade shooter twin stick style. So expect a lot of gun action, even if you decide to play it just for the achievements or actually play the whole thing, which I actually recommend because it is a very good game. Now achievements wise, this is basically the same as DCF's last game, Cruise Brothers, but it takes a lot less time to unlock, around 5-10 to 10 minutes in fact. So we need to empty a gun without performing a kill, dodge 10 and 20 times, kill 5, 10, 20, 25 and 30 enemies, Read the Wall of Fame about the gang, which we can get early in Chapter 1, and die 5 and 10 times. We can also expect some future DLC and extra achievements in the future too. So, as I said, we are looking at around 5 to 10 minutes to grab everything. And so, with that being said then, let us begin. So, let's crack on then. Press Story Mode, go to Chapter 1, and press the A button a couple of times. And you've got, well, that's going to look like me in the future, to be honest. I'm already balding now with, uh, yeah, I might as well go for the hot hairstyle, the um, ponytail at the back and bald on top. That's what every woman wants, right? Every woman likes that look, I'm sure. Anyway, press and hold the right bumper and that will get you your first achievement newbie for emptying the magazine without killing anyone. Now, if you hold it, click in the left stick, you can sprint instead of walk. And you obviously got to use the right stick there to aim. But my high advice is just keep spamming the left bumper button. Basically, if you keep spamming the left bumper button and pressing RB at the same time, you can just keep dodging and uh, just basically avoiding all fire. Because uh, you will die from one shot unless you're dodging. So my high advice for this game would just to be... Um, Keep spamming the right bumper and the left bumper at the same time. I do get smashed right in the noggin right here, which uh, I assume would pretty much hurt, but that's fine. Uh, we need to die up to 10 times anyway, like I said. Uh, so we start off at the beginning, and yeah, it, it doesn't take that long to get used to, to be honest. It might seem like you have to get used to the controls pretty quickly, but as long as you're constantly dodging, even... As you'll be able to see in just a moment, just keep dodging. No matter where you are, just keep spamming that left bumper button and you will be absolutely fine. Uh, so we go through this first door here. Again, just remember, keep dodging. Uh, keep pressing the left bumper. You'll have to kill these guys. We need to kill up to 30 enemies anyway. Uh, but as soon as you get close enough, when you press the right bumper, you'll actually do like this kind of like uh, Assassin's Creed style knife attack. And just keep on dodging. So even when you reload in, it's fine. Because um, you are that skilled at life, you can just reload and dodge all gunfire at the same time. Wouldn't advise it in the real world. Mind you'll probably get shot to bits in the real world. But in this game, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> so again, just keep spamming that left bumper. Shooting uh, and then uh, keep pressing right bumper. Just LB and RB all the way. And you cannot go wrong. Dodging and shooting is the way forward in this game. So you had some guys on the right. We've got some guys up here. And now we have to go into the bar, which is on the right-hand side, just past these motorbikes. By the way, you can um, shoot those motorbikes to kill enemies if you want. They go towards killing the enemies. So go through this door again, do a bit of dodging and a bit of shooting. Uh, we get our first checkpoint here as well. But if you do die, just make sure to be spamming the left bumper button. I get up, as you see there, I just get killed. Um, but, like... We're at the checkpoint. Now, sometimes the enemies appear and sometimes they don't. So, it's a bit of a random one, that one. But if we just head through the door on the right here, have a look at this um, sign. The Sons of Subversion. That is probably going to be a new Netflix show. Um, oh yeah, might as well, DCF. Get, get a new Netflix show going called The Sons of Subversion. Which definitely isn't like um, anything else we've seen before. So, as you can see, they're just doing this first, but we've only got a couple of uh, achievements left again, and that's for killing 30 enemies. So if we just head out of the bar here, and again, keep doing your uh, left bump dodging, and your right bump shooting, you will get that immediately, very quickly. And then all you gotta do is literally just stand still when you die. Stand still, and you'll either get shot, or sometimes the enemies will just disappear, which... You know, if you're gonna keep on playing the game, comes in mega handy. Um, but otherwise, just go to this bit and just die. And you'll have to do this a total of 10 times. But that is that. That is the game. And really, it's it's kind of... The only thing that's disappointing 
is the fact that you can get the achievements done in 5 to 10 minutes. I really hope that maybe in the future they do release a DLC with completing the game because this looks like just a generally fantastic game and I did play a, a, quite a bit more of it and I enjoyed it thoroughly. So there we go, just getting killed five times. So just keep on dying, keep on dying until you get to the 10th death. But like I said, the best thing to do for this game is just keep spamming the left bumper and the right bumper. And it's easy to do, even with the aiming as well. So there we go then, guys and gals. We should now get to tell. I did edit it down slightly, but there we go. You're not going to Valhalla, which is a shame. That's my favorite place. And there we go then, guys and gals. So that's another 1,000 out of 1,000. We can expect some more achievements and uh, future DLC. But for this time... Well, there you go, you got another thousand added. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game and hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Patreon. And a big, huge, massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Absolute legends. And a big thank you to everyone who interacts with me on the daily anyway. But there we go then, guys and gals. Another easy boy done. I see you in the next one. B -b -b Big love.